sunrise this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Naga. It is beautiful indeed from Norfolk. One of our weather watchers, of course, sent that in. And the forecast today, well, we've got a band of cloud and rain moving across England now. It will turn lighter and more patchy in nature, so it will get across Norfolk through the course of the day, but later on. And behind it, cooler conditions with some showers. It's all courtesy of this weather front here. It's a cold front continuing to drift eastwards, not much in the way of wind, a lot of dry weather and a few showers. But some of the showers that fall, particularly so across western Scotland and also Northern Ireland, could be heavy. We've had them already this morning. The radar picture shows you the progress the rain is making out of Wales and will continue across the rest of England through the rest of the day. So brightening up in southwest England, Wales, Northern England, eastern Scotland and Northern Ireland. Don't forget the showers in the north and the west and we could see a few of those getting into northwest England in the afternoon as well. Temperatures today, well, they are coming down. Yesterday the top temperature was in Rill in North Wales, 15 degrees here, but today generally 9 to 11. But where we've got the cloud from the weather front across the southeast and the Channel Islands, temperatures will be that little bit higher. Now, that weather front will still be with us in the southeast and the Channel Islands tonight. That will help maintain the temperature level. Still patchy rain moving along it, but a lot of clear skies. A few showers coming in across the northwest of England, coming down the North Sea coastline as well. And it's going to be a colder night more widely tonight than it was last night. And more of us will see some frost. The other thing, too, is there'll be some mist and some fog patches forming, which tomorrow will be slow to clear. And for some of us, won't clear at all. We'll just lift into some low cloud. Also quite cloudy where we've got our weather front draped across the Channel Islands and parts of southeast England, still with some spots of rain and one or two showers. But they will be the exception rather than the rule. And the colder air getting that bit further south. But again, where we have our weather front, we still will be looking at 11s and 12s. Now, this weather front is waiting in the wings, but by the time it comes our way, it will be fairly weak. So first thing on Friday morning, you can expect some frost and also, once again, some mist and some fog. And rather like the ensuing days, the mist and fog will be slow to lift. And for some, it will just lift into low cloud. And if you're stuck under that, it will depress the temperature. There'll be some sunshine around during the course of Friday. Here's our weather front as a fairly weak affair, introducing some rain. And temperature-wise, well, we're looking at 6 in Aberdeen, Newcastle and Cardiff. St Helier getting up to 10 degrees. Back to you too. Carol. Right now, on all counts. Yes, we are going to do it again this year. It's very much in the planning process at the moment. And obviously, we'll have to adhere to all the rules and regulations that are out there just now. So we probably won't be travelling as far as we've done in the past and observing social distancing. But absolutely, there'll be some carol singing this year. Certainly Christmas week and the week before is what we're hoping for currently. Well, I'm sure some... Oh, the traditional version of Silent Night. Dan? Easily. Uh, I love Carol Smiley. Yeah. Mine's not. Mine's <laughs> not. Mine's not Kirkwood. Gotcha. Gotcha, you, Kirkwood. <laughs> You're in big trouble now, Dan. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you so are. You so are. See you later. Like